Hey guys, welcome back to another Buddy Fight video, and we have some more reveals from Blazing Overclash, and I just want to go over this again because I believe I never talked about it. Basically, we're here on Buddy Spoiler. I'm not going to go through all the cards, so you can check them out and read some of the text or check out whatever website you'd like to see for updated Buddy Fight news. But anyways, right here we have the alternative set for coming in September, so fall. We have the Thunder Emperor and Chaos set that we looked at a ton while back with really good support for both of them. And of course, the new Ultimate set, which is going to have support for older people, basically for a renowned re re-owned or you know buddy fighters you know i'm just saying random things out of my mouth we got adventure support new stuff for folktale gara dragon force whatever the reason prism dragon neo dragons and um of course adventure we saw kazane in the pack art which i'll show in a second and of course hyakugen yami yedo support and some other stuff so that's stuff from there but i want to have a look at some of the promotional art because we actually have not had these cards revealed yet but i want to show them off so first off we have a new yami yedo i do want to say hyakugen yami yedo because it allows you to search for two different cards of Yami Yedo, the spell. But um, I don't know what they're going to do with this. The um, the artwork looks really good. Just an absolute burst of colors. And the last uh, version of Yami Yedo, the one that we got in, what was it, Buddy Legends or something like that. I forgot what the name was. Uh, looked really good. Especially 4K, you can be able to search for soul. Like, 100 Demons still have a lot of just... I don't want to say niche, but they do still have some problems, so I'm hoping that they'll get some really good support in it. They already got two cards to reveal this card of the day, so hopefully they got some more in. Obviously, this looks really good. We got Emma and Alice also as well, and if I want to pull this up, uh, where is it? Here it is. So there's actually a special shop tournament going on in Japan, and if you win, you can get this play, man. As you see, we have Alice and Emma, both with um, Emma. So I'm assuming Emma's going to have a double buddy between the two. Or Sorry, not, not, I don't want to say double buddy, because that assumes that both of the effects are going to She's going to have two buddies. That's the right way to use, just like Zanya, how he had Tsuke Kage and Byakuya. No clue this is going to be an anime or this is going to show up anytime. Maybe you can get an online light novel, which is one to talk about later after I show off the rest of the stuff. Um, new Tsuku and Jackknife, awesome to see. New Athora, that's a thing too. And of course, you got boxes and everything for that. And there's the Packer right there. Of course, Kazane is right there as well. So, anyways, moving on, I wanted to go back to Freedom Duo because they actually have translations for the new character, um, Amagasa. I'm just going to call him that for now. Or He's actually male in the Google translation, but heck, Google Translate is whack. Anyways, um, we have him right here. So he's the new character that we saw in uh, Set 5, War of Drag Odds. So Buddy K, Eradicate Demon Dragon, Belial, of course, is his buddy. And he's got the Demon 6 with the 666 critical. Anyway, he's a middle school student. So I'm assuming at Ibo, but even the light novel doesn't say, so I don't want to assume yet. Anyways, he's genius. That's good at buddy fight and bad at communicating with others, always alone. So, you know, usual edgy... Um, or, yeah, whatever you want to call him, uh, Darkness Dragon World user. We also have his buddy right here, so a little bit about his personality, and I, I read the scuffed Google Translate version because I managed to find the light novel. It's literally on the front page of the Japanese Buddy Fight website, which I'll get to later. Anyways, a demon dragon from Darkness Dragon World, pace character, quickly try out if he hears anything that catches his interest, so kind of like a risk taker in a way. And he left Darkness Dragon World so he was bored. And we also have Al right here, who's from a certain country, who has a nickname Ace of Legends, so he actually has his own character profile now on the website. He met with Yuga and is traveling overseas many years ago. He came out to, to uh, Yuga to see to Japan to see Yuga to get a rematch, basically. And also talks about his buddies too and how they have their personalities and how it's flipped. And it's interesting because there's something I want to talk about later in the light novel as I summarize it, which I'll do at the end of the video. Um, anyways, here it is. Uh, we have the Hikaru one, which I actually did not, I haven't, I can't find on the Buddy Fight website. It's there somewhere. I just haven't put enough time to found it, but I found the one with, uh, Amagasa, so we're gonna have a look at that. But anyways, we already talked about this before. Um, kind of just a little side story in the Buddy Fight universe, which is really cool. But this is where it gets more interesting to me, because Zanya is actually involved in this. So, in the summary that Freedom Duo put out, so the side story online will feature Meru. Uh, the story tells how Meru met Belial when he was pursued from, by Zanya from the Buddy Police. That's obviously his last name. You can call him whatever, Mara Magasa. I don't know why the Google Translate calls him male <laughs> for some reason. It's Google Translate. Anyways, he met Zanya, but his pursuit sorry, he meets his buddy, but is pursued by Zanya from the Buddy Police for illegal trespassing to the human world, and Blau just gives him his deck and he fights Zanya. So it's good to know that Zanya is alive. Um, it actually mentions that he's a leader of something in the light novel, but I haven't read an official or a good translation, and there isn't an official one for this. So I read the Google Translated, um, it's actually here it is, right here. Um, I used Google Translate, read through it, tried to understand what I could, and I'll recreate the buddy fight and put it on screen while I'm gonna summarize it. We also have cards that were actually referenced in you. So it's basically like a buddy fight. It's like a niche buddy fight episode, basically. Almost, I don't want to say, an, uh, what's it called? Uh, not not uh, DLC. Um, 
what's the what do you call a bonus episode for a season i don't know why i can't remember it right now but it's actually pretty cool because it is like an anime episode it's pretty short and it actually does uh use the new suke kage and also this card i don't know ignore the buddy fight wiki um <laughs> the ad on the side i mean and we also have this new card well it's not a new card it's an old card actually but um it's a really cool japanese blade for ninjas that he actually uses in the fight so i'm just gonna go show some dfa footage right here just a quick summary of the actual thing while i try and describe what happens so i'll put that up on screen anyways we have um i'm just gonna refer to him as miru right now i, I know that's his last name but anyways um amagasa miru whatever you want to call him he's basically like this edgy guy He's good at everything, including buddy fight, and he's just bored with the world. Like, he, the way that he sees his world is just so simple that he just is completely bored with his life and everything. And so basically, he's just bored and doing whatever, so he decides to go sit in a park because he finds that when it rains, it actually makes him more concentrated and things, like, uh, the atmosphere around him changes so that things are more, how do I describe this, uh, more interesting to him. They're different. So it, it doesn't make him as bored as he usually is. And also at the same time, we have this demon dragon, Belial, however you say his name, comes in, opens an illegal portal, portal, goes from darkness dragon world to earth, and it's just there now. And the buddy police, and then Zanya is sent out, the buddy police are like, yo, wait, this is an illegal monster, so we gotta take him out. And then bam, they're sent out. So that's basically what happens. Zanya actually encounters Belial, I, I'm gonna keep just messing up his name for some reason. And then he meets Meru, and Belial's about to be arrested, but then Meru suddenly just declares Meru after kind of being, I don't wanna say taunted by him, because he wasn't, but Meru is basically talking about how his personality is almost opposite to Meru. Like, he always wants to try and find new things to entertain him, and he's just bored of Darkness Dragon World. Like, that's why the reason he came to Earth. And so, because of that, um, Meru decides to randomly just teal up, team up with Belelio and form a buddy contract and he decides to fight Zanya. And in the end of the buddy fight, I don't even know the footage is at this point, but Zanya basically has the set spell Hades Fall. And if you don't know what this is, it's basically a really old, even from I think set 2, yeah, Cyber Ninja Squad, the set spell. If your opponent calls a monster the same size, you reveal a monster that is the same size from the cell, because that's the cast cost. Then you can deal damage, deal 2 damage, and because Miru was at 1 life and didn't have his umbrella to stop effect damage completely, he would have lost the game. But for some reason, Zanya doesn't declare it, and he manages to attack with his buddy, hit him with a 666 critical, and Zanya just loses. And at the end of the fight, Miru asks Zanya if he really didn't have anything to declare that, if he really just let him win, basically. And Zanya kind of leaves it a mystery, which is kind of a Zanya thing to do. And then in the end, Miro decides to look in his desk and, or is looking around his room or something like that. And he basically finds an invitation to fight. Actually, you know what? I just scroll all the way down and just find it real quick. Here it is. Um, here it is. An invitation to the World Buddy Academia School. So this seems like something that's going to happen in some arc. Again, I haven't read the official manga at all or anything from the Koro Koro. But that's what I'm thinking of. Here's my speculation. There's going to be another tournament arc. No, yeah. You didn't expect that for Buddy Fight, did you? Another tournament arc, or it's going to be some kind of school where you get all his past rivals, or maybe even new ones, of course, like Alec and uh, Meru, or whatever you want to call them, are going to show up, and they're going to fight, and there's going to be a whole lot of thing in Japan. The, the concept of having a world buddy school is interesting. Ibo Academy in the Buddy Fight universe is it's kind of touched upon in the anime that it's used specifically, like, the best buddy fighters are there, and obviously with Gao saving the world with his plot armor, it's considered like a really prestigious school. Anyways, oh man. Let me refresh myself right here. But yeah, it's really interesting that it ends off on that with an invitation to World uh, Academia School. As it says right there, Google Translate. <laughs> and of course, Alec also wants a rematch against Yuga. So what I could see is that they're all coming back. Um, Gao also appears in the manga. I have no clue what he's doing. But it would be really interesting to see all these characters come together. Like, they all want something more. Again, I, I don't know how Buddy Fight is going to handle this or... If we'll even get a new season but that's what i'm thinking of now and it's really cool to think of this fact that buddy fight at least with these new characters showing up even though they can't produce an anime or something at this moment they're at least giving these kind of content to um what's it called to fulfill people at least have something and of course there's also the crossover sets and they're still making the new stuff and honestly the new stuff demon dragons are kind of just like troll it's kind of a troll deck but legend dragons are honestly a lot of fun too and you know just dd dragon tribe is dd dragon tribe but anyways 
for the most part, it's really cool to see this kind of stuff, and especially see that Zanya is alive. Nothing about Tetsuya, but Zanya is alive. He's with the buddy police. He's not the commissioner, because we know Tetsuku is. And I still don't know how to consider this light. I'm considering this canon to me. Again, we, we don't really have confirmation from anyone that it really is, or if it's even part of... Well, obviously, we know it's part of the Buddy Fight universe, but not necessarily part of Yuga's. But I'm assuming that something like this will tie together, and we already got one for Hikaru. I don't know if Hikaru is ever going to show up and be like, Hey, I'm part of the story now. I'm a character that exists. Maybe he could be a one-off. Maybe the anime will just never come back. Maybe we'll continue to get light novels like this for new characters. Either way, it's really cool to see them kind of fill little bits and pieces of story arcs and for characters within the Buddy Fight universe. So I think that was something cool to shout out. And um, if you guys did enjoy the video, tell me what you think. Again, there's no news of any anime, but I do want to keep hope for that. Like, I feel like it is going to come. I guess I feel like Buddy Fight just thrives off that. Or, okay, how do I say this? It, it builds hype in a way. It, it does. Like, that's just undeniable. And the first season of Ace was produced to... Um, the production was really good, and the story was entertaining enough that it really kept the hype going for Buddy Fight while it was growing. And I feel like if that doesn't continue, Buddy Fight isn't going to continue to do as well. Not to say it isn't doing well, because it is. But I really hope that the anime does come back, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people are as well. So, really cool to get this kind of in-depth look at the characters. That's my summary from reading the scuffed google translate version that's an entire light novel like i'm just going through this whole thing it's pretty darn long P pretty darn long but it's really interesting to see this and again the english isn't the greatest so if anyone does do um like an official translation of this feel free to put it on google doc and put it up somewhere and i'll maybe do a video announcing it and plug it in for you but yeah it's really interesting to see this kind of extra content maybe i can find the hikaru another time or maybe you guys can find the japanese buddy five website i'll link this but you might have to refresh the link twice because uh, it's just a weird thing because it's alternation for the same um, server between the Japanese and English uh, website. So if it doesn't work again, just click the link again and it should work. But again, really interesting to see and the artwork is pretty cool. So yeah, basically all I've got to say, unfortunately we're not going to talk about too many cards yet because I still want to wait for more reveals instead of just jumping straight. Like I could do card of the day videos, but I want to just leave that to what it is for now. And I think it's pretty cool just to get this in-depth look at the universe, even though we don't really have the anime right now. Because let's be honest, Bushiroad, or, I can't even blame Bushiroad. The anime just hasn't done the greatest issue in working with the material buddy fight. Ace touched on it a bit, and at least it had reference so you can be like, oh wait, I watched the first season of Buddy Fight, I can relate to this, I know who this character is, I know who they're related to, blah 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 blah. But... And what I'm trying to say is that it doesn't utilize the material and the ideas of the world as well as I would want it to. Especially when we have a lot of things. I made a whole video about this. For example, like the the war for that. but The war that like tore the world to ruins and killed Tsuku's parents. And um, what was it? Kasane's father. Like there was that whole great war. And then we had the whole thing about the dragon. Sorry, not the dragons. The deities or gods, whatever, creating the universe. And then dra uh, the drag gods were a part of that. And something like that. I think the... Let me go back to Freedom Duo for a second. There is a translation that they're actually... Here it is. A dragon deity that works for the royal family. Or something like that. Like, it feels like they're trying to throw in more lore now. And I kind of appreciate that. And if they did expand on that more, then that'd be pretty cool. Especially when it comes to portals. And uh, more of the connection between humans and monsters. Or maybe... Uh, like I feel like Chaos... Uh, uh, but if I X tried to touch on that. Like, they're kind of be like, okay, you know, wisdom is treating monsters as like they were just animals. Like, we're enslaving them. Like, we're better than them. But there should be more of a harmony or an imbalance between both of them. Like, I feel like that's what Buddy Fight X was trying to do. But then it just ended as some whole cluster. I don't, I don't want to swear. Cluster F word. And, yeah, just... Anyways, I've already ranted on enough. Hopefully you guys enjoyed all that with the Buddy Fight anime discussion. Tell me what you think of the novel. If you do decide to read the Scuff Google Translate version. Or if there's a better translate version out there, I managed to read this whole thing. Anyways, the video is probably like 15 minutes long now. Thank you guys so much for watching.